and or modified to uh, uh, accommodate uh, some of the nuances and or uh, 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 attributes of, this, uh, of these materials. These materials are typically, uh, if they have some commonalities, they tend to be temperature sensitive. They're often uh, devolatilization intensive, whether removing uh, water and or uh, monomers. In the case of PLA, which is the most uh, prevalent uh, bio-based material, they, they can be uh, torque limited, very torque intensive. Uh, I just want to make the point, though, that although the, 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 mater uh, although the materials are different than, uh, than conventional uh, polyolefins or, or more traditional plastics, the machinery doesn't need to be tweaked. It just needs to be uh, slightly modified and uh, as much or, or equally as important, the, the operator and or the engineer needs to have a, a slightly different mindset, keeping in mind that these uh, materials are uh, more often than not uh, heat and or shear sensitive as compared to more traditional polymer compounds. A brief description of what a twin screw extruder does. Uh, this is a cons if, uh, the top uh, uh, figure here is a, a example of a conceptual representation of what goes into the twin screw extruder. We're generally performing distributive mixing, where the materials are moved around spatially but not broken down. This might be common for, say, a natural wood fiber, where you want to mix the fibers around but not break them down. Uh, we also may want to perform dispersive mixing of uh, uh, breaking uh, agglomerates down into uh, finer morphologies. Generally, the goal is to get a homogeneous compound uh, at the exit of the twin screw extruder. This is a 